A man cries out in despair after discovering several bodies buried under the rubble. Civilians have joined the recovery efforts, which have seen more than 20 people pulled out alive. But dozens of others haven't been as fortunate. Each neighbour lost a loved one. They lost two, three, four, five members of the family, children. When this fell, I pulled my mother, and only one girl in the bar managed to get out. We went up that street and got into a neighbour's house where I saw all the houses falling, like an avalanche. It was absurd. I never thought I'd see this in my life. Some have criticised the emergency response for being too slow. Yesterday, a man was found alive in the debris. The firefighters pulled him out today in the morning and he was dead. I can't cope with this anymore. They failed because they came late and people did the rescue on their own. Unfortunately, the prefecture failed in many ways. The mountainous region just north of Rio de Janeiro has seen similar catastrophes in recent decades, including one in 2011 that caused more than 900 deaths. Many homes are packed tightly together and are in areas deemed unfit for structures due to deforestation and inadequate drainage. And work to reduce the risk of landslides here has been progressing slowly over the years. The amount of rain that fell within three hours on Tuesday was almost as much as during the whole of the past month and clearly too much for residents to cope with. President Jair Bolsonaro, who learned about the tragedy while on a visit to Moscow, says even from afar, he and his ministers remain committed to helping those affected in Petropolis. Yvonne Young, ABC News.